For years I've been seeing you in my dreams, and lately more and more. I know it's you, but I can no longer recognize your face. I don't know if I'd recognize you if I saw you. I hope your condition hasn't worsened much since you last wrote. I can hardly imagine what a nightmare you're going through. Remember, you're not alone. I'm sure our father would be happy to help, if only you asked him. I assure you that for now, I haven't said a word to him about your search or your health, just as you requested. He doesn't know your intention, and with God as my witness, he'll not find out from me. I know, you think the only thing that can help you is a miracle. But such itinerant miracle workers, preachers, and folk mystics often take advantage of those in grave condition who are desperate or seeking help. I hope the man you're pursuing can actually ease your mind. But if not, Remember that, in the end, we will find a way to help you. Just because we can't see it now, does not mean it doesn't exist. Send word as soon as you get there. I want to know you are safe. With as much love as I have. Ligia. Could you spare a moment for me? I'd like to send a telegram. Of course. Pardon me, sir, but are you feeling all right? Yes, thank you. You're not looking your best. Thank you. What's your message? Take this down, please. Arrived. I think I have found him. I hope he will receive me. I will write as soon as I am able. And payment? On receipt. Anything to add at the end? Please add my love to you, my sister. Touching. From whom? My name is Viktor Shulski, S-Z-U-L-S-K-I, and Viktor with a W, not a V. Interesting name. Where's this headed? Warsaw, Russia. And this is supposedly Georgia. Russia here and Russia there. Russia everywhere, on every map. Maps change. I know, I know. Let's get on with it. Pardon? I was talking to myself. Which way to the village? The coachman is picking up the mail. Maybe he'll give you a ride. Thank you. Looney.
into the village by any chance? Hello there. Where else? There's nowhere to go here, sir. The station, the village, and the cemetery. That's all. A horse can't go any higher. The village is what interests me. Well, if you've got reason to be there, climb in. I'd be grateful. Always nice to have someone to shoot the breeze with. Nothing to see around here. This is everything. Hard to get lost in this place. Head to the tavern over there past the little square up the steps. They'll tell you where that preacher's at. Well, this time of day, he'll be there himself. Thank you. Gentlemen, is this the tavern here? Hey, Putnik. You coming from far? Indeed, I'm tired. Nice boots. Are they warm? Actually, I have particularly warm boots. Thanks. And sooner or later, it'll come back to bite them. Don't tempt me, Luca. Don't tempt me. Give me a sec. You got to sort out formalities with this tourist. Idris Nami. We're the Tsar's soldiers. Those don't look like soldiers' faces. Closer to thieves. I don't think he'll talk to us voluntarily. There's the Ruskies right. They won't report us. They'll be too embarrassed to admit some cripple got the better of them. Forgive me, sir. Is your name Grigory Efimovich Rasputin?
I forgive you. I'm sorry. It's just I've been looking for you for a very long time, and... And you expect it as thinking, Simpleton. An illiterate who swindles sick people and claims he can speak to God himself. I already said I forgive you. Yes, I've heard. Especially in Petersburg. I've also heard about the healings. Even hopeless cases. Inexplicable ones. And what do you believe in? In miracles. In my condition now, I can only hope for a miracle. And I know the meaning of that word. I'm a thaumaturge. Where are you coming from? I first learned of you in Paris. A charismatic miracle worker from Russia. I even heard about you from my doctors. By the time I got to Petersburg, you were already gone. I've crossed almost three continents, through Siberia, India, and half of Europe. But if you're asking me about my origins, I'm from Poland. From which Poland? The Russian one, the German one, or the part that belongs to Austria? From Warsaw. Do you have a name? Viktor Shulski. On my path, I've already come across people who've lied to me about their problems, and then gone around calling me a charlatan. After them, others arrived, with pitchforks and torches, and I had to endure insults and spit in my face, or flee for my life. And now you say you're a wizard from an imaginary country that no one has seen on a map in over a hundred years. Forgive my amusement, I haven't had my first coffee yet. I forgive you, and I'm still asking for help. Prove your thaumaturge, and I'll hear what you have to say. What would you like me to do, sir? I've met a few of your kind, so I know what you're capable of. Find something in this tavern that belongs to me, and tell me something only I could know. First, I need to have something personal that belongs to you to learn your trace. It's a sort of pattern I'll use to recognize the other objects. Smell this. Have you figured anything out yet? I'll return to you in a moment. I can hardly wait. I failed.
have you learned, wizard? Well, you're a zealous man. It permeates every level of your personality, your faith, your abilities. Not such an impressive discovery. I haven't finished yet. In Petersburg, he left behind a very devoted and very young lady-in-waiting. At least one, my friend. Have a seat. Tell me again, why were you looking for me? A few years ago, I attempted to catch a wild salutor, and that ended with me losing contact with my first salutor. That means I can't develop my abilities. I know that my Uber is there. Sometimes he shows himself, but I can't feel the link anymore. Generally speaking, I'm losing it more and more each day. If it disappears, my mind... I'll lose my sense of reality. I'll fall into madness. I don't know if I can help you. I've got money, if that's what matters. Give it to the needy. Your riches mean nothing to me. I meant I don't know if I'm able to help you. My gift is something I've received from God. Some I've helped, others I can't say. And I've never treated a thaumaturge. Maybe just do the same with me as with the others. We can try. Focus on my voice. You are safe. As long as you can hear my voice, you are safe. Let me gaze into your mind. Let me see through your eyes. Let me in. You've never grasped the science of spotting the perfectly obvious. Can you still not see? What do I supposedly not see? Flaw clouds your vision. It always has. Pride. Your damned pride and sense of superiority. I must have gotten that from you, father. You lose, idiot. You always do. You're even losing against yourself. You can't see, but can you at least hear? You're weak, stupid, and blind. be lying there much longer? I wanted to sweep. Where's Rasputin? In the cemetery, chasing away evil spirits and giving people comfort. You all right? <sighs> yes, yes. Absolutely. 
I wanted to sweep. I'm just heading out. <sighs> it's so good to see you again. <sighs> and something else. I saw him clear as day. It wasn't a vision. It was a salutar, and bound by a pact. A wild one. And if so, that means there's someone in the village with a flaw that's attracting it. You talking to me? I was praying. I wanted to sweep. Thaumaturgy never fails me. There is something here. They'll all gawk, but without lifting a finger. Just Vesna will bring it, Vesna will help. But if Vesna needs help with something, there's nobody to be found. Hmm. That's not yours, don't touch! All these newcomers causing more problems. Sensing. I wanted to talk. Ma'am, please open the door. Please go. We didn't invite any guests over. I'm telling you, go away or I'll call for help. Help! Help! Somebody help me! What are you doing here, you tramp? I'm not looking for trouble. I just wanted to talk. We'll talk, all right.
devil sent you. You could say that, sure. I wanted to talk. Ma'am, please open the door. Please go. We didn't invite any... Please, leave. Please, leave. My dead body. I reject this verdict. Well, I expected as much, and he wanted to come see you himself. He was first to judge. I said what I said, and I won't change my mind. Go away. You're attracting gawkers. Not gawkers. A witness. And let him listen. He'll see it fairly. Sir, this liar and thief here. Stole a memento of my mother, and this witch says I'm supposed to hand my goose over to him, too. Because you strangled mine. Now what do I care about some trinkets your mother left you? Because we already know you strangled the goose, but you still haven't proved that Bogdan stole your pendant. Where is the justice here? Why don't you relax and listen to the words of a wise woman? Well, all in all, it's... Uh, I'm sorry, Bogdan. Come inside and tell me what you're doing here. The villagers seem to have a certain respect for you, ma'am, so I wanted to ask your help with something. I'm not getting any younger, boy. Talk before I drop dead.
Well then, I hope you'll still be alive when I get back, madam. I wanted to talk. Ma'am, please open the door. Please go. We didn't invite any guests over. Please leave. Please, please. You've been going in so many circles, you're... A lot of people benefit from your wisdom. They're superstitious and timid, as far as I've been able to figure out. Easy to control, right? Pot-calling kettle. That, my boy, that you can ask that charlatan with fancy dress and beard. Who takes advantage of who here? Bah! The people here are believers, of course. But the spirit in the village is real, too. Is this spirit you're talking about, not a person? I heard it howling. That's nothing human. One evil spirit here persecutes people, and you can hear it now and then, sometimes. Tragedies attract it, and impure thoughts. We here call it a Bukovac. But other places probably call it other things. An evil spirit's an evil spirit. It torments people and turns their weaknesses against them. And what if I told you I could get rid of it? I'd say I'll believe it when I see it. And I'd ask, how else can I help you? Well then, I hope you'll still be alive when I get back.
go. We didn't invite... Please, leave. Excuse me. I need to get to the local cemetery. Could you give me a lift? I've only just come back from the post office this morning. I'm not getting the horse going again. Back to the cemetery? It's not like anyone there is gonna run away. Look, my horse is more dead than alive. I'll be right back. You've been going in so many... Well then...
I'm not going anywhere. Maybe you'll change your mind and drop me off at the cemetery after all. Hmm? Well, on the other hand, this place isn't much more exciting than the cemetery. I meant to take the horse out for a run, so get on. You're alive. Does that mean I helped, Thaumaturge? I don't have enough words, sir, to thank you for what you've done for me. I haven't felt this way in... years. I'm glad I could help. When I heard you were at the cemetery, I was sure I'd see you resurrecting the dead. Not yet. Today I'm just praying for rest for Vasily's soul. The whole village is suffering after his loss. He was the elder here. He cursed this place. Since he died, darkness and misfortune have hung over the village. You see? To them, every harm comes down to witchcraft. They believe that after Vasily's passing, the village was possessed by some monster that howls at night or some other yuffiets. As you were healing me, I had a dream, a vision. But on the borderline of sleep and wakefulness, I thought I saw a salutor. That's what might be influencing the villagers in Wailing at night. They're good people, but none too bright, Victor. I'm afraid they might be talking about a train. The wise woman was saying the evil spirit is a book of hatch. Does the creature hunting you rattle chains, slither around, and have a mouth full of giant fangs? A book of hatch. Where did the Zelda live? I'll show you. Let's allow Vasily's soul to rest for today. Amen. Can you feel it? It's the smell of mystery.
This house was always full of fear, and its owner was still alive when the house caught fire. Someone wanted to kill him. The fire only covered up the crime. The murder gave birth to the floor that you attached to, didn't it? I'll find you when I track down the murderer. I know who owns this doll. Maybe I should give them back to her. She ought to know more about what happened here. Victor! I hope you've got what you want now, Thaumaturge. Because I think it's time to get out of here. Why the hurry, father? We are the Tsar's men. How about the donation for the Tsar's army? There are no Russian outposts here. I think this is the guy with the nice boots. You're the guy who trashed our comrades? This doesn't look like a fair fight. That's why we're giving you a chance. Make a donation and we'll disperse in peace. I didn't say the advantage was on your side.
believe you're right, sir. Me? Yes, but can these salutors also help you in a fight? Can you manipulate people and cast these demons into their minds? Generally speaking, yes. Are you sure you're right, sir? Call me Grigori. Let's head back. I have to visit someone in the village who can tell me more about what happened here. <laughs>